gon' step up for me Make sure my fans stay cause my daughter gotta eat I know I ain't perfect Thank you for coming back to my channel Thank you so much for your support you have shown me And the love and caring that you give when you interact with me Okay, I just want to get right on into this must-see video And please continue to like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so Okay, but we gotta, I gotta speak my mind, guys, because it's very disturbing. Truly disturbing that rapper who publicly proclaims he's the king of the South. None other than T.I., Clifford Harris, okay? I don't understand why he is out there publicly embarrassing himself for one and then traumatizing mentally his daughter, Dejanay. Now, to me, it seems like the women in the family should have. Uh, stronghold him, tied him down to a chair and said, no, you're not doing this to my daughter. Now, Nico is the mother of T.I.'s daughter, Deja, uh, Deja. Now, it seems to me, and I've seen his show, this is Miss Nico, Deja's mom, um, and it seems like he takes care of her. He pays everything for her, but I'm also surprised at Tiny. I mean, did he go and do gynecology checks with uh, Tiny's daughter? Okay, he pretty much say he helped raise her, or he raised her, and she was calling him her daddy as well, even though she does have a biological daddy that I'm guessing is in her life. But it's like, okay, did you do that to uh, Zonique? Did you go there with Zonique? Are you going to do that with Harris? Okay, I mean, not Harris, or uh, Harris. Are you going to do that with her? I mean, I understand. You're going to put this poor girl out there. She just graduated high school. It seems like she's got a very firm, logical, uh, well-thought-out mind on her head, her shoulders. And you are just crashing and burning her, in a sense. How could you go on a public platform and say, and Nico, the mother, let you go. Take her role as the mother to accompany you all's daughter to a gynecological appointment and then pretty much shove the paper, the HIPAA form, where you didn't have no business up in there from the get-go knowing anything about her hymen. I mean, should you not be entertaining your boys with this talk of how to not break the hymen? On a young lady until you're getting ready to marry her, okay? Shouldn't you be telling your boys about not being out there sowing their wild oats and breaking other women and other men, daughters, hymens? Should you be focused there? You would have had a better understanding with the public eye of trying to even wrap their fingers or mind around what you did to your daughter. I mean, T.I., are you crazy? I mean, this is, I think, is your oldest daughter that you've had out of all biologically. She is your, uh, I guess, first. But I don't understand why Nico, your uh, girlfriend at the time, I'm sure y'all was messing around a long, long way back when and had Deja. Did you think about breaking her hymen? Did you think about uh, her father and what he may have thought of what you're doing to his young girl? I guess not. I mean, and you think you have the answers to everything. You have been bestowed wisdom of all wisdom. And you're going to put your daughter, your flesh and blood out there on Front Street. I mean, she may have been very close-knit and to herself when it came to that personal business. I mean, did you go out there when she was ministrating? Did you go get her some pads or did you leave that to her mom? pretty sure you left it to her mom. Did you go with her to her um, other doctor's visits, like when it's time to check her mammogram? Did you check for lumps in her breasts? You know, did you go and do those annual checkups as well as you trying to figure out, did, is she having sex? And my Lord, the child is 18 years old. If you didn't understand this prior to her coming on, having her first cycle, maybe at, what, 11, 12, 13, 14? Uh, what in the hell are you doing now, T.I.? That's just like a breach of mother and dad, father relationship. You're supposed to be the provider. The mother is supposed to be the nurturer and form the daughter on how she's supposed to conduct herself out here with her body and her mind. She's supposed to do that. You're supposed to run off 
of the boys that she tries to bring there, put fear in their hearts that if you mess with her, you do look unthinkable with her, then I'm coming for you. Or better yet, telling your sons not to be promiscuous out there. Uh, treat a lady how she's supposed to be treated, you know? But no, you're going after your daughter. And that's just piss poor parenting. Piss poor parenting. Because I wouldn't want to tell you anything from this time moving forward. And if that doctor, he should have been cited for even uh, sitting up there saying, uh, you know, can we um, let your, your father be in here with this discussion? He knew that man, meaning T.I., was coercing his daughter to go on and sign a legal document saying he has the rights to her medical profile. Now, come on, why do you even have the help of law? She's 18 under the eyes of the law. So I don't understand where all of this shit is coming from. It To me, it's like a breach of confidentiality uh, between her and her parents knowing about whatever she's doing out there and her, um, her confidentiality of her medical records uh, being attacked to the a sense of she don't feel comfortable because she knows her father or dad still pays her rent. He still gives her an allowance. He pays probably more than likely for her school out of pocket, but if she's making straight A's and B's, then the government going to pay for it because she definitely can apply. Unless she's using his income, and then, again, we go back to the drawing board. He's paying for her education. But I'm like, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. If you were out there laying it low, spreading it low, women, laying it, women, laying it low and spreading it wide with other women and men's daughters, then guess what? Should she not have that same effect? Should she not feel like one day I like this young man? He's you know, definitely been supporting me emotionally. Uh, I think I want to have sex. I'm preparing myself. Um, uh, getting the condoms. I'm getting the spray. Uh, it's, you know, uh, what do you call it? Uh, medicine to keep uh, sperm from swimming up in you. You know, sex aside or something like that. Uh, I'm doing everything I can do to keep from being pregnant, but I want to have a a, a time or emotion where I can express my desires with a man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, come on, T.I. You were once there. You probably started early, maybe 13, 14, uh, taking little girls' timings, okay, for your pleasure. You didn't think about that. But you, my whole thing was, it was just where is the mother? Where is the grandmother? Where is Tiny? I'm just ashamed more so at the women that's surrounding this young lady uh, to put up with this nonsense that T.I. is out there doing on his daughter. It's just absurd and crazy. And I even blame the damn doctor that she going to. But I guess when you were sub, uh, what you call it? self-servant to a T.I., Miss Nico, which is Deja's mother, and he's used to telling Tiny what to do, and she's self-serving him as well. I think he don't change his religion. I don't think he's black anymore. And I know he tried to think like he's on a European type of scale of living, but he thinks he's in um, an Indian culture, or I don't know. I, I'm, I'm thinking it's Indian or Persian culture, where, and it might be an African culture as well. They try to sew up the women's uh, vagina area so nobody can penetrate or whatever, you know, you'll know that they're still uh, haven't been touched or spoiled how most uh, people talk about it in that uh, way of thinking uh, and understanding. I, don't, I just don't understand. That's just, T.I. is very disturbing. It's like Child Protective Services need to come and get him a, a, a nice outlook on some things or how he's going around here because instead of him making his sons men for the future that women would love to have he trying to do the woman's job too okay and being lackluster when it comes to the boys him you know uh putting some edification on them and how they supposed to treat women and how they not supposed to jump into having sex at an early age respect your body as well as the female body okay that's what he need to be doing but like i said t they don't let ti go run them rampant around now it seems like tiny can't uh 
get him into check. And it looks like Nico, I guess T.I. is still paying all her bills and letting her live the lap, lap of luxury as well. So she has to bow down to him uh, on whatever he wants to do with his um, daughter. But like I said, if he didn't do it to Zonique, he has no business over there doing it with his own child. Okay, because he's saying he raised Zonique too like it was his own. But, oh, it was just... Y'all tell me what y'all think, because I think Pitch, he's just piss poor as a parent, totally, and as a man. Okay, Mr. T.I. is who I'm talking about. Piss poor as a parent and a man. And he would sit out here and put his daughter on Front Street and all her little um, friends and, and whatever uh, she has at the uh, university she's going to. You know, they laughing at her behind her back and making her feel free. She's going to have a problem where she ain't going to want to go to school because you done made a fool out of her in front of all of her peers. You know, her colleagues one day, they're going to always remember this and how you did her out in the social media world. I mean, she could have some like a guilt complex or something with mental illness where you done scarred her. I mean, have you ever thought about that, T.I.? Oh, I'm done with this video. Pretty much. Okay, y'all get down in the comments and tell me what y'all thought about Mr. T.I. and his behavior. And you think anybody want to follow him in any type of politician type role? Or just being out there, period, trying to speak for the African-American, Black American race? Oh, hell no. No, I pass. Pass on T.I. Okay, pass on T.I. Mute T.I. is what I'm talking about. But that's all I have for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Get down in the comments and tell me that you're that you differ from my opinion. Uh, could you express your opinions to me or how you felt about what T.I. was doing out there? Was it appropriate for him to do such a thing? I don't know. Or maybe I'm just lost in my sauce and I'm not looking at it with a fresh pair of eyes. But y'all tell me what y'all think, okay? And I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.